Okay, welcome to this series of videos on engineering mechanics and with the focus on statics. We're using the this textbook by Miriam Craig and Bolton, the SI version 8th edition. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this, hopefully from all subsequent videos, in all sub subsequent videos, I'm going to try to guide each video with some questions okay so it will focus and direct your your learning and your listening and your taking notes okay so the first question is what is mechanics can you answer this question as we go through this video what is statics versus dynamics or dif distinguish the difference between statics and dynamics okay and define the basic concept so we will look at some basic concepts and you need to be able to define them on your own okay so this first um this first section is introduction to statics so write these down and see if you can answer them so introduction to statics okay mechanics i'll just re read one sentence over here mechanics is the physical science which deals with the effect of forces on objects okay effects of forces on objects that is what mechanics is so if you've got an object that's accelerating so you've got an object there and you've got a force there and there's an acceleration this this is the and it has a certain mass this is a study of mechanics or if it, this object is at rest on a table, there's downward force of gravity, there's an upward force, um, a upward contact force of the table on there, and its acceleration is zero. These are just some examples. All of this is mechanics. Okay? Uh, without understanding the subject of mechanics, we won't be able to uh, understand or study the fields of vibration, for example. Um, anything to do with structures, building structures, machines, rocket and spacecraft design. Well, we need to understand mechanics. Engines, fluid flow. That's an important one. Well, all of them are important. Okay. However, we need to understand mechanics, how forces act on objects, the effect that fo with it, of forces on objects. Okay. Then there's some important uh, people through the centuries that have contributed to the study of mechanics such as Archimedes who looked at the lever and and buoyancy okay um, he looked at fluid flow uh, Stevanus who studied this idea of statics field of statics Galileo looked at falling stones and then of course Newton who formulated the laws of motion the law of gravitation okay so these are some important contributions uh, others include da Vinci, Varignon, Euler, D'Alembert, Lagrange, Laplace okay now the, uh, over here you see these two words statics and dynamics so the I think we've covered the first question um, what is what is mechanics? Okay, so are you able to answer that? The second is what is statics versus dynamics? Okay, so mechanics now, so we've got mechanics. Mechanics can be divided into two parts, statics and dynamics. Statics, what is that? This deals with the equilibrium of bodies under the action of forces so there's equilibrium okay the object is not moving there's equilibrium however with with dynamics this concerns the motion of bodies okay now let us look at the basic concepts basic concepts so it says here, the following concepts and definitions are basic to the study of mechanics, and you should understand them. Okay, space. When we talk about space, what do we mean? 
It's a region occupied by the bodies um, and described by certain measurements in a coordinate system. So you have an, an object in a, a two-dimensional coordinate system. You can This is an example, right? You can define it by that position and that position, say in an XY reference frame. Or if this is in three-dimensional space, you also can define it using three coordinates. Okay, that's the idea. All right, time, a measure of the succession of events. Okay, and a basic quantity of dynamics, but not directly involved with statics. Okay, mass is a measure of the inertia of a body, right? Right, we've seen this, right? Force is mass times acceleration. This is this is the measure of the inertia of this of this body of this object. Its resistance, how it resists a change of velocity. Okay, it's the inertia of the body. Okay, how it resists to be accelerated. Okay, it can also be thought of as a quantity of matter. And it affects the gravitational attraction, attraction force between it and other bodies. Okay, force, the action of one body on another. The action of one body on another. It is characterized by a magnitude, a direction, right? We know that force is a vector. So there's a magnitude, a direction of its action, and where it's being applied, the point of application, magnitude, direction, point of application, it's a vector quantity. Okay, discussed more in chapter two. Now, this is very important, a particle and a rigid body. Um, we, a particle is a, a, an approximation or an um, idealization where we take an object, say even a, a car, but we... Okay, just imagine that that's a car. Okay, all right. And we say, okay, let's. We don't care about its dimensions. We don't care about its size. Let's take all its mass and concentrate it into a point. Okay. So we say, blue. We just concentrate that into a single point, and then we study all the forces acting on that single point. So we've idealized this this object as a point mass. Right. Uh, we uh, let's see. We may treat a body as a particle when its dimensions are irrelevant to the description of its position or the action of the forces. So, when its dimensions are irrelevant. Okay. So we'll see that later. But just understand what a particle is. Okay. A rigid body. Um, a rigid body is not a particle, but it is an actual body with 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 dimensions okay and it is considered rigid when any two points on that body stay the same even under the action of forces right we apply forces but these two any two points that you choose remain the same distance uh, even under the action of these forces okay so Statics deals primarily with the calculation of external forces which act on rigid bodies. So there's a rigid body doesn't deform. There's no deformation. Remember, it's an idealization. Um, if you've got, say, a, a steel bar, something like that, and you apply some forces to it, and the deflection is so small, then we can assume, right, we can assume for, for certain purposes that it's a rigid body. Um, however, a more advanced concept would be the study of deformable bodies, okay, which follows statics. So, so we first look at, we study um, statics and we idealize these bodies as particles and rigid bodies. But after, after laying a foundation on uh, using these concepts, we then move to the study of, of the actual deformations that occur in the bodies. 
Okay. So again, what is mechanics? Uh, what's the difference between dynamics and statics? Dynamics versus statics. And can you describe each of these um, basic concepts? Can you describe each of these basic concepts?